Recently, the cybersecurity world got shaken up by a headline. Researchers at ESET say they have found the first piece of malware that truly leverages AI. It is a strain of ransomware called PromptLock and it can run across multiple operating systems – Windows, Linux and Mac OS. The news cycle went loud fast, posts about an AI virus rippled through security communities, and the media and experts started talking about a new era of cyber threats. Long before PromptLock, specialists warned that sooner or later attackers would start weaponizing generative AI in real-world campaigns. Now those fears have materialized. Analysts are calling this an inevitable turning point and argue we are standing at the edge of a new frontier in cybersecurity. Even though PromptLock has not been observed in actual attacks yet, and it's likely a proof of concept, its mere appearance rattled a lot of pros. For the first time, investigators found malware with an AI model wired directly into the engine of the virus, generating malicious code on the fly while it runs. This is Brain Ninjar or Brain Ninja. Let us dive into this AI virus because I cannot afford to dive into real viruses and then pay for the real medicine, while AI medicine costs 25 bucks a month. Let's go! So what is the essence of this AI virus, and how is it different from classic malware? PromptLock is ransomware that uses a locally running language model to carry out its tasks. In plain English, the virus contains carefully crafted text instructions, prompts, and the embedded AI uses them to create Lua scripts in real time that perform malicious actions. In traditional malware, every step is hard-coded by the author. Here the virus has a kind of brain, an AI that autonomously decides what to do with the files it finds on a machine. According to ESET, PromptLock scans the file system of the infected device, analyzes file contents, and based on conditions baked into it, decides which data to steal and which data to encrypt for a ransom play. The scripts the AI generates are cross-platform usable on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. That portability comes from using the Lua language, which can run across different systems without changing the code. The standout feature of PromptLock is its mutability and its intelligence. It is written in the Go programming language, includes the spec 128-bit encryption algorithm to lock up files, and ships with extra capabilities such as the potential to wipe data that are not enabled yet. But that is not what fundamentally sets it apart. The key is the generative AI inside. Because of that design, every new activation can look a little different from the last one. ESET notes that indicators of compromise, the telltale signs that a virus leaves behind, may change from run to run because the specific malicious scripts are freshly generated each time. For classic antivirus tools that hunt for known signatures or rigid behavior patterns, that is a serious problem. It is much harder to catch an ever-shifting AI-generated code path. If a traditional virus is a pre-written program with a predictable set of files and actions, an AI-driven virus can adapt, fit itself to the environment, and even dream up new tactics on the fly. Researchers say this level of autonomy could automate huge chunks of the attack chain from reconnaissance inside a system to data exfiltration at speeds and scale that used to sound impossible. In effect, PromptLock shows that one well-tuned AI model can orchestrate complex, self-adapting malware where criminals previously needed whole teams of seasoned programmers, that changes the balance of power. The barrier to entry drops, and even relatively inexperienced attackers get a tool that lets them punch above their weight. Why does the arrival of an AI virus spark so much anxiety? Because it opens up entirely new avenues for attacks and makes life tougher for defenders. Specialists straight up call prompt lock, a harbinger of a new frontier in cyber risk. If you train an AI model to dynamically alter a virus's signatures and logic, then the usual defenses signature scans, simple firewall rules, static code analysis stop working well. ESET's experts warn that if these AI attacking techniques are implemented well, identifying threats will get much harder and the day-to-day -day job of defenders will get a lot more complicated. PromptLock, as a concept, already proves that AI can do more than write phishing emails or generate deepfake content. It can directly steer malware. Before this, AI was used more indirectly like asking a chatbot to write snippets of bad code or craft a convincing phishing lure. Now we are seeing a direct fusion of a virus and an AI system. 
system. That means in the future we could face malware that learns on the move and improves its attacks as it spreads, for example, noticing that it has been detected and instantly switching tactics and its handwriting to slip away. That prospect is why so many people are talking about a new arms race in cyberspace, where every smart attack forces an equally smart defense. Can you defend against such AI malware? And what is coming next? Will we get AI antiviruses to counter it? Experts agree that traditional cybersecurity tools need to evolve. Many modern antivirus products and intrusion detection systems already use machine learning and elements of AI to proactively look for anomalies. For example, behavior analysis in antivirus suites is a prototype of AI defense. The system flags suspicious activity even if a program is not in any virus database. The appearance of threats like prompt lock is pushing vendors to accelerate the next generation of defensive tech. We are likely heading into an era of AI versus AI, where protective tools embed their own models that can spot brand new attacks by indirect signals and respond to them in real time. Of course, that is a double-edged sword. The same technologies are available to hackers. Right now, AI serves both sides. As a Forbes observer notes, on the one hand, AI and machine learning are becoming key instruments of cyber defense, and on the other hand, they hand attackers new ways to strike. Examples include automated phishing, where AI generates personalized scam emails and malware that autonomously morphs its code to fool security systems. This algorithmic arms race is already underway. Defenders train neural networks to spot abnormal program behavior, while adversaries try to train their models to blend in as normal activity. In the coming years, we will probably see increasingly smart protection ranging from advanced endpoint detection and response, and extended detection and response with AI engines, to fully autonomous AI antiviruses that can parse system events and stop an attack early without a human in the loop. The biggest players are moving this way already. ESET, for instance, says it combines the power of AI with human expertise to stay one step ahead of threats. In other words, AI is already working for the good side, but in these new conditions it will also have to get more flexible and more creative to keep pace with unusual attacks. What about the future, and what are specialists warning us about? Beyond AI malware like prompt lock, other potentially revolutionary cyber threats are visible on the horizon. One of them is the advance of quantum computing. Experts have long discussed a scenario informally called Q-Day, the moment when a sufficiently powerful quantum computer can break modern encryption methods in minutes or hours. Today's cryptographic algorithms, which protect our passwords, banking, and messages, can theoretically withstand attacks from classical computers for millions of years. A quantum machine could crunch those computations orders of magnitude faster. What would that mean for cybersecurity? Essentially, the arrival of a quantum-level codebreaker could make today's information protection schemes meaningless. Adversaries could decrypt almost any stolen trove from password databases to private correspondence and gain access to what we thought was safely locked down. Specialists caution that quantum tech will be a two-edged sword. It will enable stronger defenses such as quantum cryptography while simultaneously arming attackers with new tools. Already, roughly 62% of security experts express concern that quantum computers will break modern internet encryption, even though only a small share of organizations have a plan to counter that risk. And imagine quantum viruses, loosely speaking, malware or hacker toolkits that lean on quantum computation. For instance, programs that instantly derive cryptographic keys for a victim's encrypted data or bypass practically any protective cipher. A fully operational, battlefield-ready quantum computer is a matter for the future, but preparation needs to start now by deploying post-quantum cryptography. Otherwise, the huge damages we see from cyber attacks today may look small compared to what a data breach could mean in a post-quantum era. Another frontier is AI-based codebreakers and intruders that may arrive long before quantum machines. As we just discussed, existing AI systems can already crack passwords with scary effectiveness. In a recent study using a neural network called PASCAN, researchers analyzed roughly 15 million passwords and more than 51% of the most common ones were cracked in less than one minute. In total, about 71% of the list fell within one day. That means simple strings like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or password do not present any barrier. AI cycles through options lightning fast and even learns from leaks to invent the most typical choices on its own. Yes, for now, long complex passwords of 12 to 18 characters can still stop such an attack, but as AI improves, the threshold for safety will keep rising. It is easy to picture an AI intruder that does more than brute force. It analyzes leaked datasets, the victim's profile, and their habits, and from that context it creatively guesses access keys with frighteningly plausible accuracy. Even today, neural networks help solve captures, infer personal identification number codes from the sound of keystrokes, and find vulnerabilities in source code. In combination, those tools could soon offload a big chunk of a hacker's routine, an AI assistant handling much of the grind. Finally, specialists warn that even devices not connected to the
the internet are not perfectly safe, so-called over-the-air attacks are becoming real. In 2024, researchers from the University of Florida and Certike demonstrated a method called Volt Schemer that lets an attacker compromise a smartphone through of all things a wireless charger. You would think a charger just supplies power, no internet involved, but the attackers found a way to modulate voltage in the wireless charging pad to induce electromagnetic interference in the phone. Those disturbances can secretly trigger the phone's voice assistant, Siri or Google Assistant, and then the assistant executes commands. Put simply, the device starts obeying the hacker. It can send text messages, place calls, open a malicious website, and in some cases even initiate financial transactions if banking apps are tied in. The person notices nothing the attackers operate without physical contact. What is more, the same Volt Schemer technique could theoretically overheat the phone. By pushing charging power higher, attackers could knock the gadget out or even provoke a fire. This example shows that hacking without internet is not science fiction. There is a whole family of attacks on isolated air-gapped systems where data is stolen or malicious code is triggered without traditional networks. Beyond charging gear, researchers have demonstrated data theft via the vibrations of cooling fans, via ultrasonic signals from speakers, and via a blinking LED indicator cases where the adversary harvests information simply by being physically close, without connecting to the device. And some vulnerabilities, as researcher Ian Beer from Google Project Zero showed, let you fully take over a smartphone over Wi-Fi with zero interaction from the victim. He uncovered a critical bug in the iPhone that allowed compromise over a wireless network with access to everything camera and microphone included, basically, like in a hacker movie, with no cables and no clicks from the owner. It took months to develop that exploit, but here is the takeaway. Vulnerabilities that enable true over-the-air remote compromise exist, and in the hands of persistent attackers, they can be turned into working tools. The overall forecast reads like this. Threats will keep getting more complex and more intelligent, and the boundaries of what is possible will keep expanding. AI is already upgrading old playbooks like phishing and password cracking and giving birth to fundamentally new threats like prompt lock. Quantum technologies threaten the very foundations of cryptographic protection, and wireless intrusion methods show that even offline devices can be vulnerable to unconventional attacks. Still, experts say do not panic prepare. Build smart cyber defense, roll out post-quantum encryption ahead of time, and train people in cyber hygiene so they do not fall for the basic tricks. And, of course, keep investing in research. The arrival of prompt lock, as ESET emphasized, should be a wake-up call and a push for the whole industry to share information more actively and look for antidotes together. The sooner defenders learn about a new trick, the better their chances to beat it. The first AI virus, prompt lock, is a warning of the changes coming to cyberspace. We are entering an era when malware can think, adapt, and learn. Thank goodness the human factor has not been cancelled yet, and elderly ladies still hand over their millions of dollars all by themselves. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, do not forget to subscribe. See you next time.